put the effort in to make sure that the work looks good. My name's Oliver and I'm the CEO of Goldfinger Factory. It's probably a great way to do it. The name Goldfinger Factory comes uh, from the architect that built this building. Our reason for being here is to try and empower people to turn waste into gold uh, and that basically means training people um, to, to become craftspeople so that they can use waste materials and then sell them. The basic elements of Goldfinger Factory are a community cafe, a showroom and uh, on the top floor and then downstairs we've got a school and a workshop. We always try and engage as much as possible with the people most local to us, which are the people who live above us in Trellick. Um, and uh, we've even got a trainee on at the moment called Jace, who's uh, actually a resident. I bumped into Ollie and he helped me get a scholarship fund, just being able to do what I want to do and build a portfolio here and learn these little techniques. And yeah, I learned a lot about furniture that I didn't know about before. Once you've got crafts, you can go into like set design or your facilities management, construction. Well, I want to be a prop, uh, prop maker for TV, film and theatre. I couldn't get into the field without having to have like, experience in that field in the first place. There's talented people out there uh, who, for one reason or another, can't escape this chicken and egg situation where like, if you're a craftsperson, you need money to start a workshop, but you need workshop to get money. Or if you're a young person, you need experience to get a job, but you need a job to get experience. And I think the biggest like, impact that we have is to help people out of that vicious cycle.